Hello Capricorn, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 22nd to the 28th of February 2021. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for the week. So what do we have for our lovely Capricorns, please? Angels, spirits, guides, overarching message or energy for the week. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So Capricorn, we have the Ten of Wands. Message for Capricorn, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Message for our lovely Capricorns. Thank you for the week. Okay, so we have Innocence. A message for Capricorn, please, angels. What is the message? Okay, that turned over really quickly. Okay. Oh, nice. We have Peaceful Resolution. Okay, Capricorn. So let us pull your cards. I pull three cards, as you know by now. The first card is the issue or challenge you face for the week. Second card is advice from spirit. Third card is the outcome, future outcome. And then we'll clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay, so what do we have for Capricorn, please? Angel spirits, guides, message for Capricorn, thank you message for our lovely Capricorns. So we have the Ace of Wands in the challenge position. The Moon is advice from Spirit and we have the Knight of Cups. Okay. Message for Capricorn please. Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Capricorn. Thank you. What do we have for Capricorn? Can we clarify the cards on the table for Capricorn, please? 22nd to the 28th of February 2021. Message for our lovely Capricorns. Thank you for the week. Let's just do one more shuffle. I like the first card to come out on its own. It's the way it tunes the cards. So let's see what we get. What do we have for Capricorn, please? Angel Spirits Guides. There we go. So we have uh, the Emperor. The Moon we have with the Two of Swords. The Knight of Cups. <laughs> we have with the Ace of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Wands. You know, I'm getting the Cups energy here, Capricorn, but, it, you know, I could read this in terms of love, romance, relationships, or something that's bringing you joy here. So it is a general reading. We will cover that. But I'm definitely getting some commercial aspect to this as well, which is interesting. Um, It has not been easy. The Ten of Wands is, it's not felt easy. You have felt the burden, the pressure, the test, the challenges, the setbacks, the weight, you know, of the world on your shoulders. And yet the message with the Ten of Wands is, even though this has been a challenge, I mean, you know, the Ten of Wands can be exceptional hard work to the point of exhaustion, or it can be just something is burdening you so greatly and it's built up over a period of time. But for some of you, the burdens are about to be released because the Ten of Wands is a completion. You know, the weight is going to be lifted and that's what you need to realize here even though I don't feel that you've got clarity. You know, there's definitely some kind of purging energy with this innocence. And I'm seeing that relating to the Ten of Wands. You will have the ability to cleanse, release, 
uh, unburden yourself, you know? I definitely get this kind of cleansing, purification energy with the Innocence card. Uh, cleansing the past journey, being ready for the new, you know, wiping the slate clean. It feels that kind of energy. It also is, if something has burdened you, weighed you down, been difficult to deal with, or someone even, there's definitely a recognition from spirit that I don't feel it was your fault. I mean, someone is, there's definitely an energy of, of spirit recognizing some innocence of yours here. Definitely an energy of, yes, you've been burdened and it feels it was things beyond your control. It wasn't your fault. So for some of you, you might need to hear that. Either way, this week, for some of you, there is going to be some kind of peaceful resolution. And I love the energy for that reason. It feels very beautiful. So Capricorn. The Ace of Wands can be a card of... It can be a card of an exciting opportunity. But in your challenge position, there may have been delays. Things not unfolding as quickly as you wanted them to. Delays. I mean, you know, this could be to do with something that is very much con connected to your passions. It could be connected with waiting for some kind of opportunity. It could be in business and career, for example, from a large organization or an entrepreneurial organization. Um, and that might resonate for some of you. You know, this is something exciting, something that's completely connected to your heart and soul. But there's definitely this kind of energy. There's definitely this kind of energy. So I'm just getting some information on this. It feels like there's been some kind of delays. If you, the, the Emperor is somebody in power, authority, in charge. I mean, it's a card of Aries. So for some of you, there may have been a leader. You might be waiting to hear back from some kind of leader or somebody in authority. You know, the Emperor is, is generally somebody who is in control, somebody who takes authority, takes charge, the great initiator. They are a sign of making it happen. You know, but for some of you, it feels there have been some kind of delays. You've been trying to make something happen, but you don't feel that the door is opening. And that's what I'm definitely getting. But if that emperor is you, Capricorn, it feels like you just feel powerless. It's almost kind of like things beyond your control are seemingly feeling like they're stripping you of any power you have to take control of something and open a new door. And that's definitely what I'm feeling. Let's clarify this emperor for Capricorn, please. Let's clarify this emperor. Let's clarify this Emperor, thank you. Yeah, you don't have the clarity, you feel stuck. You don't see. I mean, the, the Two of Swords can be just lack of clarity. Um, lack of clarity in how you can take control. There's a feeling of being powerless here, I have to say. Of feeling powerless, of things are beyond your control here. I'm definitely getting this kind of energy because it feels like you're trying to connect to your power, um, to take control, to make something happen here, to open this new door, to get this opportunity. You know what I mean? This could be in terms of an opportunity in love. This could be an opportunity that, that's very much connected to your passions. I mean, the Ace of Wands, yes, it's very good in terms of business as well, business, career. Um, can be linked with jobs, new business ventures. Um, but it can also be, you know, if we 
visit a country or we visit a county or a state and we like it you know we have this passion to move there you know this can be where things are just beyond your control to make that thing happen you know so it's that kind of energy it's very much connected to your passions your heart and soul spirit is saying no you don't have the clarity and that's where you need to trust that's where there needs to be blind faith blind trust because whether you know it or not things are being engineered behind the scenes there is a feeling of hidden blessings here so things will become clear and there is definitely this energy of just wait things will become clear for you and it feels quite beautiful capricorn it feels very beautiful indeed so um, I'm, i really like the energy of this if you have had any conflict um i mean the the five of wands can be conflict so if you've had any conflict these cards are saying there could be some peace offering or some peaceful resolution proposed to you so for example if you have been struggling with a leader with regard to some opportunity it feels like there is some peaceful resolution being agreed here that's going to bring change if you have been competing for something this can be offers opportunities a new door opening finally the door that you want to open something that's connected to your heart heart and um, something that you really want you know the ace of cups is the cup of joy something that will bring you happiness and joy you're finally getting that offer the opportunity i mean the, these cards i mean the knight of cups the knights are people who offer you the opportunity so this can be creative opportunities opportunities close to your heart it can be to do with uh, positive energy so somebody can be making you some kind of um, peace offering or some opportunity coming your way that is a good compromise you know in your view you know this can also be to do with because um, it's linked with happiness and joy it can be to do with love as well so for some of you something connected to your heart and soul you've been wanting to take action towards it but for some of you it might well be that you've experienced delays or things have just been beyond your control and there's a lack of clarity here there is definitely the offer the opportunity this can be in terms of love romance relationships new friendships new pets call it what you will but the door is finally opening in the form of an offer so regardless of what the outcome the message remains the same capricorn um, there's definitely an energy of you are being offered the cup of joy the happiness something that you really want something that's absolutely connected to your heart energy that is going to bring you happiness and is resulting in some kind of peaceful resolution that will allow you to purge the past purge the burdens of the past that have built up over the past for some of you so it feels quite strong um yeah very beautiful energy so i'm going to pull a final final advice any other advice for capricorn please angel spirits guides thank you yeah look keep going you will overcome this you will get the ace of cups and again the page of cups holds the ace of cups so again there's an energy of them that there is some kind of it can be an offer an opportunity that brings peace to the situation that is acceptable to you um, especially if there's been some fallouts or some disagreements or some lack of clarity with regard to an opportunity it feels for some of you there's hidden blessings things going on behind the scenes divine orchestration and it's resulting in you getting the cup of joy offered to you and the cards keep on repeating themselves so again there's again similar messages the page of cups is, is the message the message to do with the opportunity that the knight and the ace of cups is bringing in so definitely an energy of yes you have been challenged there could have been conflict or competition here but the message is you are going to get the cup of joy offered to you so it feels very beautiful the new beginning is happening so final message for capricorn please angel spirits guides okay 
Yeah, we have divination. Embrace your powers of divination, which are especially strong right now. You have the ability to see your situation with crystal clear clarity. And it feels for some of you that whatever this is, it's bringing peace. It's bringing happiness. It's bringing joy back um, into your life, which it feels like that's what you've really wanted. So very, very beautiful energy. I hope you enjoyed the reading, Capricorn. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.